The pandemic uh, is all but over. Restrictions have been lifted in several parts. The world is ready to travel again. But if you want to visit the United States, it looks like you might have to wait. For now, you could put your American dream on hold till 2024. Why do I say that? Because as of the 28th of September, the waiting time for a visa appointment in New Delhi is 833 days. You heard that right. That's almost a two-year-long wait for a visa appointment. The situation isn't any better across the country. In all five U.S. consulates, the average waiting time was 1.5 years. In New Delhi, as we said, the waiting time is 833 days. In the financial hub Mumbai, it is 848 days. Kolkata has a waiting time of 767 days. Chennai, 780 days. Even in Hyderabad, which has the lowest waiting time, it shows 582 days. The student visa waiting time is the same story. If you want a student visa appointment, you will still have to wait for around 400 days. So why is the U.S. visa crunch so bad right now? There are two main reasons for this. One, the pandemic disruptions. Washington halted almost all visa processing worldwide in 2020. In embassies, there was also reduced staffing. So clearly the visas piled up. Two, the demand is very high. Indians are eager to travel. Many of them want to head to the U.S. So there is a huge demand for visas right now. Now, how does this waiting time compare to other countries? In Shanghai, the waiting time for an appointment is two days. Let that sink in. In India, it is 833 days, while in China, just two days. And there are three reasons for this. One is the lower demand. Two, the growing animosity between Washington and Beijing. And three, zero COVID policies. But you have to admit, the difference is staggering. In fact, the issue was raised in the recent Blinken Jai Shankar meeting. The U.S. Secretary of State pledged action to address India's concerns. We have a plan when it comes to India to address the backlog of visas that's built up. I think you'll see that play out in the coming months. But it's something that we're very focused on. These connections, these people-to-people -people ties, whether it's students, whether it's um, uh, business people, uh, whether it's uh, tourists, whether it's family. This is what really links us together. And the last thing we want to do is make that any more difficult. On the contrary, we want to facilitate it. So bear with us. Uh, this will play out over the next few months, but we're very focused on it. Bear with us is what Blinken says. He mentions a plan, but reveals no details about it. After meeting Blinken, Jay Shankar offered to help the U.S. in clearing the backlog. I uh, uh, suggested that if there was something we could do from the Indian government to help the U.S. government deal with this issue in a better way, we would be very open, open to doing it. I think there might be some issues which he might send our way. But uh, I, I again uh, feel this is an issue where uh, obviously it's mainly for the U.S. to do, but uh, uh, we will be supportive, collaborative. The visa backlog also reveals details about America's priorities. If the demand for visas is high, it requires the embassy to invest more resources, perhaps by hiring more staff or extending the working hours. And remember, we are talking about a close strategic partner here. In fact, this goes beyond just visas. Joe Biden took office in January 2021, but he is yet to appoint an ambassador to India. The last U.S. ambassador what was Kenneth Juster. He vacated the post on January 20th last year. And since then, there have been four interim charged affairs, but no permanent ambassador. The Democrats nominated Los Angeles Mayor Eric Garcetti eight months ago, but he hasn't gotten enough support to be, appointment, to be appointed. Just imagine that America does not have an ambassador to one of its most important strategic partners. Neither can it approve visas in quick time. Could this be telling us about their diplomatic shortcomings? For more on this, our principal di diplomatic correspondent, Sathan Sibyl, getting us this report from New Delhi.
दिस इज अ स्टोरी ऑफ इनकनवीनियंस फॉर मेनी इंडियन नेशनल्स हु हैव टू वेट फॉर लॉन्ग टाइम टू ट्रैवल टू यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स द नंबर स्टैंड्स एट ऑलमोस्ट टू इयर्स और 833 डेज फॉर इंडियन नेशनल्स टू गो एज विजिटर्स टू यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स and uh, for students almost uh, around 400 days more than 400 days and this is a segment that is majorly impacted uh, remember that uh, there are a lot of indian nationals and students who have been traveling regularly to united states but because of the covid pandemic the restrictions that were put in place uh, and the backlog that was generated that led to the crisis uh, which we are facing uh, right now of course this is not not india specific it is a uh, global and of course uh, we know that the american side has given assurances uh, but largely uh, the big question is what will united states do in terms of uh, uh, the fact in terms of uh, uh, making sure that uh, the process can be uh hasn in terms of giving visas uh, uh, we also know that um, in the indian subcontinent uh, the delays are there in dhaka kathmandu islamabad and uh, uh, colombo and new delhi uh, is no different in fact the the longest time uh, any one has to face in the indian subcontinent is here in delhi in terms of the wait to get uh, a us visa uh, but largely in terms of uh, uh, the indian side they have raised the issue in fact the matter was raised by the indian external affairs minister during his visit to washington earlier this week with video journalist neeraj patel sidhan sibal for we on in new delhi we on now available in your country download the app now get all the news on the move